Okay, I'm going to play with MQTT just for a quick minute here. We're not using any SSL security. We're just going to use the built-in uh, username. We're not even using a password. Uh, we're just using a username to filter. So at the top, we're going to do the mosquito publish, which is going to publish to the topic of foo the message sent. Now, the second terminal window is going to be the mosquito, uh, mosquito subscribe, which is subscribing to the topic of foo if sent by the user J, and then it's going to add a timestamp uh, next to the message that's received. And then the very bottom terminal is subscribing to the same topic, foo, but any username, and then also a timestamp. Now, the settings in the comp file do not allow anyone to publish to this topic without having a username. Uh, again, the password is not being enforced, just the username, but we're going to send it here. So first we're going to subscribe, um, and that, that timestamp utility comes in the more utils package, and it's, uh, it's a great little feature. You can just add timestamp to everything. I, I like showing it because in this type of representation, you can see uh, sending the same mo message multiple times. It's kind of easy to track down and, and debug a bit. So we'll subscribe to any user sending to that topic of foo, any message. And then we're going to also subscribe to the user J sending to the topic of foo uh, any message. Now, those are both subscribed to. So we're going to publish to the topic of foo the message sent, but we're not registered or not using a username, just just a public posting to that topic. So we'll go ahead and click send, and nothing came across either subscriptions. Now we're going to change it, and we're going to add a username on there. So you can see uh, mosquito publish to the topic of foo sent by user J, and the message is the word sent. And there it is. And there it is again with the timestamp. The time, this is why I like to use the timestamp. So we can see the two messages in the middle terminal were received because that terminal is spec uh, specifically subscribing to any post to the topic of foo sent by user J. Now, notice the bottom terminal did not specify the user, so therefore it's not receiving it. So if you can imagine having a, an IOTT device or, or an, uh, some sort of need to communicate uh, with two ends, uh, so say, for example, I have a friend that produces an air quality sensor and he needs that to communicate back to the internet, uh, this is a, a good way to make sure that the communications can't be uh, interfered with by the outside. Uh, obviously, there's more secure ways to enhance this, but uh, basically, if he sells 10 devices, he can specify a specific identifier or username for said device that'll go to a specific message and then we know that any numbers or data coming from that device is coming from that device alone uh, whereas uh, MQTT when it's unsecured can easily be I don't want to say the word hacked because it's not really hacking it's just you know faking a username or using a different username so if you have the same username on both ends uh, it's more or less a simple authentication uh, you know, it's we're subscribing to something only if such and such device sent it. So you can do this on both sides, as is demonstrated here. Uh, when we send the message, only the subscription that has the username J is receiving it. So we can change the word J with uh, device 11647 and add a serial number to it, and it'll only receive from that device. And then when we send it without the username, there's no message anywhere. So just some simple, simple tools. MQTT is super easy to use. I mean, can you imagine? Uh, all it is is just a, a simple uh, command. That's that's all it is. So you could throw this into Bash or into a web page, buttons, whatnot. It's super, super easy to implement. So that's all. Four minutes is enough time for this video.